Nice job. <laughs> All right, good job. All right. And the impress of the on the floor. Okay, nice job. That was amazing. When Shannon Miller is on, she is on, she's solid, she doesn't even move, but I couldn't believe what we saw here. Look at that foot. It, it could have been disastrous for her. She, she hung on. I don't know how she did it. But she is a fighter like nobody's business. Look at this dismount. Super difficulty. Maybe not a perfect position on the landing, but those feet, they aren't moving. Score is up. 9862 here's Steve's reaction <laughs> huge score for Miller at a good time thank you thank you <laughs> now while that was happening Rosa Galieva was performing on the floor exercise and what happened to her is what's been happening over the last several days here in the Georgia Dome with 30,000 people here in the middle of her floor routine it got so loud she couldn't even hear her music Remember, four years ago, she was pulled out of the unified team lineup. Tatiana Gutsu was favored over her for the individual all-around, so she did not get a chance to compete in the all-around, even though she had qualified for it. Trained, waited for four years, and here she came in here to the United States, and this happened. Shannon Miller performing on the beam at the same time Rose is on the floor. to complete this exercise and actually many of the coaches from the foreign delegations have complained publicly about a lot of things and mostly about the crowd noise are doing was reacting naturally but it certainly didn't help her and now as her score comes up Galieva 9637 is in tears this is not the first time this happened to her two nights ago when one of the biggest nights of gymnastics occurred in Olympic history Kerry Strug being carried out of the stadium. Rosa Galieva at this very moment was trying to perform her floor exercise. Put yourself in her position. And so on Tuesday night, Rosa was in tears again with her coach Lena Darkayev trying to console her. While Shannon was on beam and Rosa was on floor, Mo Huilan was on uneven bars. But she dealt with the crowd and has thus far. Hasn't seemed to bother her. Well, Mo Huilan, a master on this apparatus. It's a routine that is just packed with difficulty. It highlights one of the most spectacular release skills in the competition. It's coming up right here. It's called the Gaylord. Named after Mitch Gaylord, Tim Daggett's former teammate. He used to do it over the high bar. It's a great exercise that we're seeing. She's not done, though. As you mentioned, though, John, she is dealing with the pressure, dealing with all the noise. We've all had to compete in front of a rowdy crowd. Maybe not as rowdy as this one, though. And 
So three different stories at the same time. And no Hulan score at 9-8. Still challenging for the goal. Dominique Dawes is coming up next, and she's in second place. Teammate Dominique Mochianu had a huge deduction on this piece of apparatus. But Dominique Dawes, standing in second after the first rotation, is ready for her balance beam routine. A lot of Dominique's questions will be answered very, very shortly. She has an extremely difficult acrobatic series right off the top of her routine. This is it. She'll take the lead away from Shannon Miller. American Shannon Miller now in the lead after two. Dawes got her start when she was about six and a half. She signed up for a tumbling class and she was showed up the thing was canceled and then she was at a fast food restaurant and bumped into some kids from kelly hills gymnastics she's been with her ever since <laughs> what do you think guys nine eight or better uh, that was awesome it's, it's got to go nine eight big dismount big acrobatic series in the middle of the routine she was dead on did you see her bite her lip after every Big skill. She was determined. Nice job. Yeah, nice job. I'm sure everybody nice at home knows just as well as the three of us up in the booth here that this was just about perfect right here. Three laid out somersaults in a row. The chance have begun of USA before the score comes up. And the dismount is incredible. Tumbling on the beam, full twisting, double back. She knew that was important. She and Kelly Hill have been through so much when that gym was first started. There was a, there it is, 9-8-2-5. So she takes the lead from Shannon Miller. Dominique Dawes is in gold medal position. She has two more routines to go and the best in the world challenging her. While that was going on, Lavini Milosevic from Romania was on the uneven bars. Let's show you that performance. And now she's dealing with the cheers that Rosa had to deal with when Rosa was on the floor. Those are the cheers for dogs. Well, this young lady's been in pressure situations many times. She's been in numerous world championships as well as the 92 Olympic Games, so she should probably just block out those cheers. I'm sure she's not even thinking about it. She and her Romanian team had a hard time of it since coming here to Atlanta. They lost two of their key athletes. And a spot-on performance for her that earned her a 9-7-3-7. If they had to compete in a team competition with six, and you were allowed seven athletes. So they were playing catch-up 